everybody. Thank you for joining. My glasses seem to have a little bit of a glare today, but I am here kind of latta, where we're all about being kind and loving all the animals. Thanks for joining us today on uh, our reading story time. And here's my lovely guest, Winnie, her replication. You can always go and join us at epicoutreach.org on any social media platform, Epic Outreach, and you can see real live updates and pictures of the real Winnie. But today we're going to read her story, Winnie, A Wet and Windy Adventure. So thank you for joining, let's begin. Do you know what it means to get a second chance? To be adopted after being lost and having to survive to survive wind and rain. My name is Winnie. There she is. But that wasn't always my name. They call me Winnie Boo or just plain Boo Boo. I answer to them all. I really don't mind the many names because at one time, the only name I had was a number. And there's her number. How many of you have nicknames? So who am I? I am a squatty brown mutt from Houston, Texas. There she is. I have creamy chocolate eyes and my fur is rusty brown like a fox. I have short, thick legs, my ears flop around, and my body is long like a dachshund. They call me a low rider. I look like a stretched out teddy bear. Look at her. She's long and lean. What do you think she looks like? My life until today is such a blur. I think I had a home, but I don't remember where it was. I think I was loved because I was fed and clean. Then one day it changed. I got soaking wet and blown all over the place. Look at little Winnie. The trees are blowing everywhere. What do you think all pets need in order to feel loved? What do you think Winnie needs? What do you need? The wind howled and sounded like a train passing right over me. I quickly found myself sitting in a puddle, lost and confused. All I remember is lots of wind and rain and my little legs were shaking. If I had a family, they were nowhere to be found. I was lost, shivering and wet. I wandered around the streets of Houston, Texas. How do you think Winnie was feeling in this picture? In that big city all alone? How do you think she was feeling? Suddenly, a strange man scooped me up into his arms. He was wearing a bright orange shirt. You're looking, you're soaking wet. You shouldn't be out here in this hurricane all by yourself, he declared. He took me for a ride and then placed me in a wire enclosure. You're safe for now, he said. It was dry in the new place and the people gave me yummy food. I heard lots of dogs barking, woof, 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 and saw more people wearing orange shirts. Everyone was hustling all over the place. I was told I must have been found in the gutter. I guess I smelled pretty bad when the man found me. There she is, in his arms. A little hard to see in that crease. How do you think Miss Winnie got lost? How do you think she ended up being found all alone, wandering around? I didn't know where I was, but it was big and bright. My bed was close to the outside where I got walked daily. The grass felt soft on my chubby toes. It was always exciting to see someone walk around 
walked toward me with a leash. I twirled around in circles, dancing in my kennel. There she is. See the leash hanging? She's dancing around in her kennel. Oh, look at that smile on her face. Where do you think Winnie was? After what seemed like weeks, I met a nice lady. She was very gentle, spoke softly, and she brought me special treats. She stopped by my bed, kneeling down to my level, and whispered in my ear, someday we will be together forever. I really enjoyed her visits. Looking little Winnie. And there she is, kneeling down. I saw many of my doggy friends leave. Some left on a big white bus and some went out for a walk and never came back. I wondered where they were going. Maybe to the vet, maybe to the park, or maybe to a new home. Where do you think Winnie's friends went? Look at them all. So many different faces. They are Hurricane Harvey survivors, everyone kept saying. I guess I was pretty lucky to survive that storm. I lived in that big warehouse at the NRG Stadium for over a month. It was my new home. At least, I thought it was. Do you think a warehouse is a good home for a pet? Look at Winnie with her toys in her little caged home. Then one day I went for a walk, just like my friends. But this time I got placed in a car and I went for a ride. I don't know where I was going, but I thought maybe I would see some of my friends again. Then I was placed into a pet carrier, which was pushed into the belly of an airplane. I had never been on a plane before. It was big and loud. There were lots of strange noises and the air pressure got really strange. How many of you have ever been on a plane? Look at Winnie. There's the airplane and there she is in the little kennel. The next person I saw was that same lady who had brought me the yummy treats. She took me out of the pet carrier I was traveling in and we went for a walk. It was bright and sunny outside. It reminded me of home but the grass smelled different in this new place. Look at her walking out into the big old sunshine. Mom, as I would come to know that nice lady, said it was the month of October. She bent down to my level and gave me a pet. I bought you a costume for Halloween and I'm going to give you a bath for a fresh start at your new life. The bath water smelled like coconut. Look at Winnie in the bathtub. She's a silly girl. All those bubbles. And later, she adopted me and gave me the home of my dreams. I have big cushy couches to sleep on and a bright pink bed that's all mine. I have big brothers and sisters a cat, and even a guinea pig as my new friends. Also, I get to visit cool places like the beach. Look at Winnie with her friends. So happy in her pink bed. Do you think Winnie was happy in her new home? Mom dressed me up as a shark for Halloween. She says it's her favorite holiday and I needed to get in the spirit. She said sharks are good for the ocean and we must let everyone know. The blue and white cotton costume was soft on my fur but hot and clumsy to run in. Even though I think I looked ridiculous, like I was being eaten by a shark, I didn't care. 
I was just happy to have a new home. <laughs> Look at Winnie with her little shark costume. Her tail wagging at the back. She's so cute. One of my favorite things to do is sit at the sliding glass door. That window is big and goes all the way to the floor at my level. I love to sit inside, look out, watching the lizards running all over the backyard. Mom always taps on the window before letting me out. Strange, if you ask me. What's even stranger is that it's hard to catch those lizards and I can never catch those pesky squirrels. But I sure have fun trying. <laughs> Don't you, Winnie? Oops, that's the blinds. There's Winnie with the lizards. When I'm outside, I love catching the lizards. Mom says it's not very nice. She tells me to stop chasing the lizards and sometimes the squirrels too. <laughs> Look at Winnie. She always lets them go. Except to tell you my story, I don't think about my time in Texas. I'm having so much fun living my new life in Florida. I do remember all those orange people though. I don't know what all the orange was about. However, I think it meant something good. People kept repeating the words best friends. I wonder, am I a best friend? Oh, Winnie, are you a best friend? All those orange people helped my friends and me find new homes. I know this much. I love those orange people because they saved my life and all my friends' lives too. Look at her. She's so happy. And here is a page of the real life Winnie. Wasn't that a great story, you guys? All about a short, soggy, brown stray dog from Texas who now lives a great life in Florida. So again, follow Winnie on Facebook at Epic Outreach. Uh, you can also follow us on Instagram. And um, Winnie's Epic World is her own Facebook, or sorry, Instagram page. So Winnie's Epic World on Instagram and follow her and she posts lots of pictures and videos and updates about her life on the farm because she now lives on the farm. So thank you again for joining. I hope you loved the book. You can get these this book on Amazon. And if you get the book, ask us to send you a potograph. Winnie will potograph and send you a sticker to put inside your book with a potograph. Thanks for joining again. Say bye, Winnie.